show you uh, Fuzz Panda 2. Um, so what can you do with this board? Uh, we have USB, as usual. We have added the uh, micro SD card. And there is also real-time clock on board. The circuitry is on board already. And this pin that was not used before, now it's for the backup battery. So you can, the, the clock can, keep, uh, can be running while the uh, power is off the board. And we also moved on the old Fuzz Panda, the IOs were out here. We moved everything out to the side. We added a nice header, so now you can plug extra uh, circuitry to your board. You can still use the shield side, but then we have this um, uh, extra IOs, a lot of IOs. So, and then, it didn't end there, we uh, also brought to you uh, Fuzz Connect. Um, Fuzz Connect is, allows you to connect to things, and that's why we named it Fuzz Connect, not uh, uh, Ethernet Shield. It's basically the Ethernet Shield with backup battery uh, for the real-time clock, and we added a few IOs as uh, GST sockets over here, so you can connect all kind of different components. So if you know how to make these, then you can do it on your own. If, uh, if you're a software developer and you're not sure how these, um, how electronics work, you can get um, LEDs, buttons, uh, all, all kind of different sensors and plug these um, into a socket. We even have two headers for, uh, for servo motors, so you can even connect servo motors right onto Fast Connect. So this goes on Panda, and now we have tons of connectivity. And then we thought, what can we do with this? Well, then we have this 243 by 320 display, which is a full 16-bit color, so you get full graphics on the board, and um, you can see how the header plugs right into here. And not only full color in high resolution, this is also touch screen. And to show you a demo on, when, when, we, when we talk about um, physical computing, or we talk about Internet of Things. This will be an example of a small application. So let's say we're doing home automation. Uh, we have the lights. So let's say this is kitchen lights or garage lights. You have temperature sensor. You have light sensor because you want to save energy by checking if day, it's daytime or not to shut the lights off. Um, we have a display, so this can be maybe your thermostat interface. So from here, you can control the house through touch interface. So for example, we have our favorite uh, fuzz monkey here. And uh, I can draw on the screen, and I can clear it. This is a touch screen. And then we have um, fuzz connect connected to our sensors. And we have another display that's, of course, not needed. It, the idea is showing that how you, what you can do with the, with the connecting uh, components. We have Ethernet uh, connected to the laptop right here, and I have a web browser running. And I'd like to say here that the, uh, the Ethernet support here is uh, it's complete uh, HTTP support, plus you have TCP socket server, you have UDP, um, even you have a security feature on HTTP. So, uh, and all this is done through an external TCP IP chipset, which allows us to save a lot of resources for your own use. Um, so this is a web browser. I'm going to refresh my page. This is a, I'm trying to uh, connect to a, uh, a secure area on the, the server, which is, this is a web server that's running inside Fuzz Panda. So I'm going to put in the name. Uh, we use GHI, password 123. And now, it's forwarding me to the page, and now this is a page that is hosted from uh, Fuzz. Of course, this can be on, in the internet, and you can access it, access it anywhere in the world. Um, to give a quick example, uh, we have two buttons here to control the lights. Like I said earlier, this can be the kitchen lights. So I'm going to click red LED, and the red LED comes on. I'm going to click yellow LED, and yellow LED comes on. And we also have over here, we have a temperature of the room displayed. We have the, uh, uh, the light level uh, coming back. Um, one last thing I like to add is uh, on the Fuzz Panda. Even though there is no USB host on Fuzz Panda, like we have a USB host connector like we have on Domino, Fuzz Panda is capable of USB host as well. So you can connect a USB keyboard or USB thumb drive. You can make... Um, 
an MP3 player that's capable of reading playing files off a thumb drive, for example. Um, so this is it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, guys.